Good morning you guys. Welcome back to my channel today. I hope you guys are all doing well. My name is Marin if you guys are new to my channel. So for today's video, I've been waiting to do this video for a while but if you guys have been on my channel you guys know I've always been having technical like difficulties with like exporting my videos. So initially I wanted to do this last month but we're going to try this again for this month but I'm going to be doing a monthly reset so a December reset with you guys and just pretty much plan out this whole month obviously not like every single day but just set goals what I want to do um things that I have coming up this month and just kind of give myself a month to like reset and learn from last month and what I want to do differently this coming up month and the last month of 2022 which is so crazy I can believe the year is already gone it's kind of like I don't know, it makes me so like overwhelmed how fast the year goes by. So, but besides that, if you guys want to come along with me and see what I do to prep for a monthly reset, it's pretty much gonna be like how I normally do a Sunday reset vlog, but just more in detail of what my month goals are. Then keep on watching. Okay, so I already went to the gym today, which that's one thing a part of this whole monthly reset. I want to go back to the gym. I feel like I haven't been like my best health self that I could be and I used to go to the gym all the time when I was like going into college and then as I was younger I never really did go to the gym because I danced so that was my form of exercise but now obviously I'm not those two anymore and I feel like I definitely need to work out and I used to like Pilates but I only do Pilates now that when I'm like busy and I don't have time to go anywhere and um but I actually got a membership through my work and so I figured you know this is my time to start going to the gym and sorry if I keep switching my hand just whenever my hand gets tired I switch my camera so yeah that is just like I've been getting in one kick of just like I need to really start paying attention to what I put in my body and just like food I love to go I like my burgers, I like my fast food, and I know I need to start like balancing that. I'm not saying to like don't eat any of that, but I know I need to start like, like I said, balancing those portions and then it helps going to the gym. So I'm going to try to hold myself accountable starting this month to go to the gym. It's kind of hard with just like studying, working, and then just kind of finding, finding that equal balance of when to go. So it's either really early before work or after work after dinner so yeah we'll see how it goes but that's just like my first reset and I started this morning I actually did a Zumba class which I really like because it mixes my dance and cardio also sorry for the lighting I don't know what's up that was a hiccup also sorry for the lighting I don't know what's up with my camera recently but I'm just not really loving how it's going this is where I pretty much keep all my like books and journals so this is my brother journal this one was I think kind of like my in-depth travel journal this journal I'm waiting for law school for it and this is like my scrapbook travel journal and this is like a 3,000 questions about me which I haven't actually really touched but I'm gonna like dive into this one again this is gonna look like a kindergarten painted this but honestly I just didn't really care I just wanted to do something different for the front but yeah this is pretty much my whole journal I do prompts pictures it's kind of like a scrapbook but also I just write a lot of things and just doodle here and there about it but yeah so and I do like every month I write new things and I think that was the last time I stopped was April of 2022 because it's been a while um, because I graduated volunteered abroad and yeah just a lot of things going on so definitely starting tomorrow I'm going to incorporate incorporate it into my morning routine especially when, like I'm getting ready for work or I'm just eating breakfast so I came down Sarah's in the office because it's just like a little bigger setup but I like this little desk because you really could rise it if you wanted to or you could lower it to your apartment but since I'm kind of short I like to lower it but right now, I'm going to pretty much just finish my 
personal statement because I have to write it, send it to my letters of rec and then I'm going to talk about my application process really quick and yeah. Okay, so basically right now I am, I initially wanted to finish my applications by the month of December so I could have it done or like initially I wanted to try to get it all done by November but realistically I know I need to just focus on the LSAT and then um once I get closer then I can start working on the applications because I've just been like hearing mixed reviews of like when should I submit it um should I wait after the LSAT like no I'm waiting for my score and I just rather have it all at once even if that means I won't apply till February 1st the moment I get my score, I'm submitting all my applications. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much the process. I definitely, luckily for work, so I do work 9 to 5, um, if you guys are new to my channel. And so I don't really have time throughout the day anymore to, like, work on studying and my application. So luckily for my work, um, I have a week off. For the holidays which is like amazing um so i am going to take that time to study and then devote one day to like applications and if i need another day just because i'm already halfway done so i know i don't have to restart everything but i just want to get my letters of rec in i already have one in so i need to get the other ones i have my transcripts in all really waiting for is just to fill out the applications and then um finalize pretty much everything so yeah, that's where I'm at with the application process, if you guys are wondering. So this month, I'm really just taking it in to do my LSAT studying, which I will update you guys also with that new schedule. And just get, like what I'm going to do differently and what's been really working for me. And um, I also thought about making a separate video for the LSAT study, but I think once my application process is done, I'm going to do a video because I feel like the past few times I've been doing study schedules and I don't want to like make that my right schedule because I know like I've been changing it until whatever is my final score that I'm happy with that will be my study schedule that's helped me so I think I'm going to wait till I'm done with the LSAT to make an actual uh, study schedule so yeah. So being said I'm going to work finish working on my application stuff and then I'm gonna study for a few hours until I do my other stuff okay so I took a little break to do my laundry but I wanted to chit chat with you guys about kind of like what I do monthly but also like bi-weekly with finances and like what I've been doing to save how I pretty much split my paycheck um and yeah, pretty much how I just keep track of all my expenses. Definitely, I will say, it's been hard for me when I first started to do it. But honestly, I think it helps me track. And at the end of the month, I could see, like, realistically what I've been spending. So last month, I saw I spent a lot of money on coffee. And more than I probably should. And I have coffee here at my house. So this is what I've been doing. Um, I'm kind of, like the month of November and as well like my new goal for December is just trying not to go out to get coffee um as much unless I have like points or um like gift card maybe then I will but otherwise I try not to do it anymore because I know food and coffee adds up a lot. I know a lot of people say like oh invest in like real estate real estate but I don't know I like don't know anything about that and it kind of makes me nervous to like you know invest in real estate without me not even like having my own place so I started looking up about REITs and like it's an investment fund but without actually having a property so that's something I know you have to talk to like a broker so I'm going to do that hopefully within like get more information this month and collect information and then hopefully by the end of the month or starting January I could invest in an REIT or whatever they recommend for me. Overall financially, not just for like a monthly reset, but for the whole year I want to save up before I go to law school enough to like if I do need if I do get my own place, you know, I'll be okay 
okay with that and I'm uh, financially okay. Obviously law school is expensive so that's where all those student loans come in. But I just want to like be, so if I need to go buy books or you know my groceries and everything like that. Um, so that's what I've just been doing for this year and so I do try to cut the expenses out but with the holidays a little bit harder but after the holidays I told myself monthly reset of December no more like shopping unless like I run out of something like personal needs not like wants and that's what I need to keep telling myself like okay, it's a want not a need and that helped me a lot when I was saving up for my car is it's a want not a need and so I stopped buying all this stuff because honestly little things add up Dollar Tree I go there all the time and it adds up so that's what I just need to keep in mind so hopefully by the end of December I paid off my credit card whatever I had left for the shopping and then just focus on like the bills that I need to pay for and then safe and then that's pretty much it okay I'm about to go run errands but I wanted to just jump on about my goal for, like this month with like YouTube and TikTok and a lot of my different platforms so I want to be consistent more with YouTube, uh, I know I've been like on and off like some weeks I won't post like once a week or like sometimes I'll it'll take me longer than like two weeks I haven't posted. I was going to do Vlogmas but I just know because of like studying for the LSAT and like working I just felt like I couldn't do it every day and I just didn't want to put like not the best quality out there for you guys so maybe next year when I have a little bit more. I won't probably have a lot more time if I go to law school next year, but I won't be as, like, working and then also studying for the LSAT. I don't know. Who knows where the future will be at. But I'm also trying to do daily TikToks um, to be more consistent. Um, Instagram, I'm more consistent on my story than posting, but that's why I have, like, my ring light out here because I've been trying to film, like, out of the days on TikTok and just putting a lot more content out there. I just try to use my ring light because of lighting purposes, especially at night. But my camera, I don't really need to. I only use that for my phone. So that's like my monthly goal for this. Something is better when your pajamas come out of the dryer and they're so warm before bedtime. But before I go into my next, like, self-care reset i bought these little cute can of cane razors from marshall's because i ran out of my razors and that's like something i want to like do a little bit more with my skincare um because i feel like i just like do a lot of steps that i miss out and my skin's been definitely like not the best since i've been wearing a lot of makeup for work so yeah this was actually just like four dollars and i like that it comes with multiple so i was like talking about earlier about like making goals for myself and I know journaling is definitely one of them just kind of like a self-care but also I've just been like drifting away from like my self-care of like skincare like hair care and everything I sometimes just like forget to wash my makeup away and then I've been suffering you can't really see it anymore but I had a lot of little breakouts over here like my hair I'm trying to do it a lot more especially at work because I feel like I always just stick it up to a ponytail and that's not how I want to do it anymore um I want to like do things differently and then like change it up and just the same thing with my skincare like I was saying I just don't really do it anymore and I love doing skincare I just like feeling so refreshed and at night going to bed and like in the morning as well so I'm trying to do that and change for the month of December but I my hair is still a little damp because I've had an eclipse um, I don't normally blow dry my hair, but sometimes I think in the morning I have to, especially, I try to shower at night, so I don't have to shower in the morning, but there's sometimes I just, I'm so tired and I'll just shower in the morning, but when I do shower at night, I like to put this Living Proof Perfect Hair Day, it's a nightcap, it's like an overnight, um, perfecter, and I just feel kind of hot. And I just kind of like just run it down the ends of my hair. I never like to put anything in my scalp just because my hair, it used to be very oily and it used to get very oily fast. Not as much anymore, thank God, but 
I just still try to avoid it as best as possible. Okay, so I'm gonna go into like my peach fuzz kind of like shaving. I normally do put a face wax, but I don't have any because I just haven't bought any because like again, I just haven't really gone into my skincare. So I was like, okay, I don't want to buy any masks, but that's normally what I would do when I do have face masks. So I do have a sample, um, Sephora HYA. Um, it's kind of like a hydraulic, hydraulic acid. So I'm going to use this on my face. I do use a Dior Glow Serum. Um, I use that for AM and PM, but I just want to get rid of this little sample. Never mind. There was literally nothing in there. I don't know why. But nothing came out, so we're just gonna go in with the Dior um, Capture Youth Glow Boosters. I really like this. This actually took me a while to go through this, just because it is a little bit pricey, so I use a little bit. But honestly, a little goes a long way. So I'm just going to just kind of pat this in my face. Normally I like drip it, but sometimes I just feel like it gets like all over the place. Just a little bit more over my neck. And a little bit for my nose as well. And then I'm just gonna spray my face with this the Kadi Kadali. I don't know how to pronounce this brand. Um, if I could show it correctly, maybe you guys can see it. Um, it's just like a facial mist. I'm just gonna spray it just kind of with my face because the serum did set through already. And so, since I have my pink robe, I'll use the pink um, facial razor. And I'm just, you know, I think I need like a closer mirror. Let's see if this. I might have accidentally shaved off one of my sideburn hair. Okay, and then last, I just have a little travel size eye cream. I don't really put eye cream, but I kind of want to start putting a little bit of eye cream because I do have like really puffy under eyes. So not necessarily eye cream, but just like wrinkles, but like they do puff my eyes. Okay, so this is how my kind of calendar looks like. It just has, I focus more on logic reasoning a lot and then, well, logic reasoning, reading comp, prep, and then logic games on Sundays, and then every other Sunday I have my tutor, so I kind of put logic games with that, but yeah, this is pretty much the month of December. I kind of, December 31st, I've kind of see like what I really need to do, and then the tests, I signed up for January's, like I said, so I plan on taking it on Saturday the 14th. So I still have over a month to, you know, keep on practicing, which hopefully that will be. Hey you guys, so I'm going to wrap today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed my monthly reset. I know it's more of kind of just like a sit down instead of like showing you guys i tried my best to kind of show you guys some things but i just felt like for me like these monthly reset videos are more of just kind of like a chit chat sit down and then normally when i do my sunday reset i kind of show you guys like exactly what i'm doing but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this if you guys do please let me know down below and any ideas you guys want me to do um for my upcoming channel and don't forget to subscribe to my channel as well because it always makes a lot to me hit that thumbs up button and the notification bell so you guys can be alert when I upload and as well follow me on my other socials so you guys can stay updated with me. But besides that, I hope you guys have a great week and I will see you guys in the next video.